Hello, Internet. Welcome back to our Cataclysm Golf Scenario playthrough. In the last episode, uh, I believe we recovered finally from our, our hypovolemic shock, shock. I say finally, but it was really only a few days, which I thought was pretty surprising. And we're going to be heading out a lot into the town probably in this episode. We need to make up for a little bit of lost time here and uh, get ourselves some goodies. How are we doing equipment-wise? Our spear is in good shape. We are not wearing our clothing. Let's throw on our clothes. We don't really need the golf gloves. Um, and we're only in mild pain. We don't really need to worry about uh, speed or anything like that. We presumably, we have a lot of ammunition and our gun. So I think we're good. We're just going to um, continue looting. We did set up our base previously. We should probably do something about this window. Uh, we could drag one of these fridge things over and put that in front of the window or, or smash out the window frame and, and fully block it. I don't know that we're going to do that. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we've been sleeping in the back of the building, so they'd have uh, quite a few doors to come through. Uh, actually, just the one door, I guess. That's okay. Uh, I think we're good there. Um, so we're just going to head out into town and explore. I don't really remember what uh, the last, you know, few episodes have been. I've been uh, very, very busy this week, really eating up all my time. I think we talked about, I remember talking about business stuff. Um, uh, Patreon comes to mind. I remember saying that uh, I don't know what to put on a Patreon for exclusive content. Uh, anyone with ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, because I do believe you should have exclusive content. But let's not talk about that. Um, we explored the pet supply store, clothing store. We also explored because we got a lot of random equipment. We also went in the music store. I'd like to head north, but I didn't we see a hoard up there? There's really nothing up there. Ooh, the electronic shop actually is really good. We should head up that direction. And let's see what we can see. And then in the last episode, I had some technical issues. That's never good. Pretty sure... Technical issues are a great way to make your audience mad. Um, like, best case scenario, people are mildly annoyed. Uh, and worst case scenario, it, like, completely ruins the video. I, I don't remember how bad it was. Hopefully is a non-issue. Um, my technical issues, by the way, were caused by my mouse. My mouse was clicking on its own, which is why, uh, like, if you remember, we had cheese spread. And when the menu popped up, it takes up the whole screen. So our mouse was over here and it clicked like eight times. So it made us eat those items really quickly because that's a clickable menu now. So that was an issue with my mouse. Mouse has been replaced. That's how you know it's been a long time since I recorded is because I've had time to order and receive a mouse and mouse pad from, uh, from Amazon. The mouse is slightly off with the DPI. I'm still acclimating to the new mouse, but... I thought it was exactly the same one I had before, but it is actually slightly smaller uh, as well. So not super comfortable. And I got a new mouse pad. I had a, I had a mouse pad from, uh, I think it was a place my grandmother worked like years ago as a nurse. I've had that mouse pad for like in eternity. It's probably been in our house for like eight years. So I figured, you know, buying a mouse, might as well buy a mouse pad. They're like three bucks sometimes. So yeah, I got myself a little mouse pad. It has a tree on it has a tree on it and a space background because trees if I think whenever I think of space I think oh man there are trees up there so that's uh the mouse pad I bought it was cheap what are you gonna do I'm, I'm poor all right let's uh explore here feeling a lot better today it's uh finally the week is over it's it's Friday as I record this we are seeing quite a lot of monster density up here not terrible we uh, we probably will just shoot them. It'll be much faster and easier. What are these things? Are they tiny trash cans? Recycling bins, of course. Would be smaller than a dumpster. That makes sense. Uh, we do see a, a zapper here, probably from the electronic shop, would be my guess. They are going to have electric zombies in them, and this early in the game, they're probably still mostly zappers. I kind of hope they're zappers, because if they're like. If they're shocker zombies, we don't have the means to really harvest them for CBMs, which would be a waste. Um, and if I were a min-max kind of guy, I would leave the zapper alive so that he could evolve and then we could get CBMs from him. But our first aid is not that impressive. Uh, where's that at? Do, do, do. First aid is two. Our survival is also not very good. I believe survival impacts it. Also a two. 
We have a small chance of getting a CBM. It's not great. I think first day... Or no, it's not It's not survival, is it? It's electronics. I don't remember. Whatever. Um, we're on the low end, is the point. So, it's not impossible that we would get a CBM out of it, but it's not we not very likely. Um, go ahead and wield the M4. We are just going to shoot them. We have all these bullets now. I really don't want to deal with them. We ought to make something that we can wear our spear. So we don't have to drop it every time in case we need... Uh, in case we want to swap back to it. Let's press up a little bit further, see if there are more up there. Doesn't look like it. There's a couple more on the road. You're a pigeon. I'm not worried about a pigeon. That zapper has seen us. So has this fat zombie. Um, and once we start shooting, they're all going to come over here. Yeah, I think we will shoot them. It probably will lead to a prolonged shootout, but that's okay. Let's uh, have some of them trickle over. Oh, they've all seen us. Okay, well. Also, let's get a question so we have something to talk about as we go. It's been a full week. I could sit here and talk about my week. It's mostly boring stuff that's really... Honestly, some of it was really unpleasant. Maybe we'll talk about that, but let's get a question for now. Click, scroll, click. Uh, if you could have any Pokemon as a pet, what would it be? That's, actually, that's a fun question. Okay, who doesn't like Pokemon? Everyone likes... Pokemon. Am I not wielding my M4? Oh, I can... It's it's just blending in with my clothing, I think. All my sprite there. If you can have any Pokemon... Well, actually, I think this is interesting because it raises... It depends what you mean, right? If you're talking about just having a pet as a Pokemon, like which Pokemon would be a good... Like, strictly a pet. You're not using them for their superpower, special abilities, or whatever. It's got to be like... Like Eevee, right? Because it's just like a pet. It's not It's not weird. It's not terrifying. Like, you know, Mew is like a cat, right? I would not want Mew as a pet. Like anything that can put the psychic arm lock on you and mess with your brain, probably not great. Like, oh, you didn't feed me today. And then they erase your memory. Seems like a horrible, <laughs> horrible thing to invite into your home. So probably like just something boring like Eevee. Because it's just basically like a little... A little pupper, kind of, you know, or whatever it is. Is it a dog? I have no idea what Eevee is supposed to be. It looks like a dog or a fox to me. Vulpix, again, you know, pretty basic, you know, adorable pet that people would, you know, love and, and be affectionate with. If you're talking, like, for utility purposes, I mean, that's that's a good question. Uh, Machamp could help me move, you know? <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't like a little help when they're trying to move, you know? You could get like a Machoke or a Machamp, but they would, they, they could like choke you out. Like what if, uh, you know, they get a little fussy or something. Like my dogs all the time get fussy about their uh, treats and things if you don't give them treats when they want it. Uh, mostly because my family has spoiled them. Um, but yeah, if that was, wow, there's a lot of runners over here, huh? I wonder why that is. It's five of them, four of them. I mean, they do spawn in little packs. How many ammo? How much ammo do we have left? 17. Um, this thorny shambler is a little worrisome. I believe they have a projectile attack that can be troublesome. So I do think we might want to fall back a few steps and take some shots at them. Problem with the runners is if we can't put them down as quickly as they arrive, they'll quickly uh, overwhelm us and screw up our aim. So they also need to be a priority. These other zombies I don't care about. Fat zombie, child zombie, they're not going to be problematic. So, thorny shambler, then runners, I think, is the is the state of being here. My neighbor is home, I can tell, because he has his motorcycle blasting right outside my window. The other day at 6 a.m., he uh, went out and started his motorcycle right outside this window where I'm sleeping. Uh, or at the time I was trying to sleep. And then proceeded to let it idle for about 20 minutes. So, I don't know, I've never heard of anyone like warming up a motorcycle before like some people will go out and like you know you put your heater on in your car and you kind of let it sit you're gonna die from your wounds so let's switch uh shots here a lot a lot of vehicles today um like obviously you you warm up your car maybe you put on the defroster uh things like that i'm gonna ignore this runner and hope it bleeds to death before it reaches me maybe take a few steps back there you go uh, and he just let the, the, the motorcycle idle right outside my window. I was infuriated. I was tempted to get up and yell at him. 
but I was in my underwear and I didn't want to hang out the window on a cold morning in my underwear and, and let my neighbor see me. So I just laid there until he, he, he left for work. Anyway, Pokemon. Yeah, my dogs get fussy if you don't give them treats. What if uh, Machamp gets mad because I didn't feed him on time or he wants to go for a walk and I don't want to go for a walk all this, you know, he has, so you just pull my arms off, you know? Okay, changing aim does reduce our aim to zero. Okay, now we're gonna focus these runners so they can't uh, make any real trouble for us. What, um, five rounds? We're okay. Um, and again, you know, I feel comfortable wasting, not, not even wasting this ammunition. I feel comfortable employing this ammunition for us to quickly and easily deal with a horde that would have taken us probably the whole episode if we were doing it in melee and we probably would have screwed up and ended up going to the rifle anyway. So this to me makes sense. In fact, uh, we're down to the, to, to the dregs here. We probably should have swapped back to our, our spear once we took care of the runners. So... We'll just deal with this guy in the traditional stab you with a stick kind of way. And then we'll sort through the corpses. So Pokemon can be scary. Honestly, I, so I think the question actually is like, do you want something that's strictly a pet? And in that situation, you're just going to pick your favorite Pokemon, right? Like you're not going to pick based on utility. You're just going to knee jerk pick the one that is your favorite, right? Or... If you're not picking it just for a pet, you're picking it for its utility and the value that it brings to you. So I think a lot of people would say their favorite Pokemon, which by the way, go in the comments right now. Let me know what's your favorite Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like as a pet? People seldom answer the questions that I ask uh, from, you know, which makes sense. A lot of them aren't really worth answering. But um, yeah, you should answer this one because I think a lot of people probably have opinions on this one. So... Hmm, and, and then, yeah, and then there's utility. So if you don't pick your favorite, you're probably picking one where you're like, okay, I could use this Pokemon to benefit me in some way, right? So, like, my favorite, I'm going to feel dumb, and people are going to make fun of me. I actually like, I think it's from Ruby and Sapphire. I like the Pokemon that's just like a slug that's lava. I think its name is Slugma. Which is like such a weird thing. I don't know why I even like that Pokemon. It's like one of my favorites. It's just a slug that's lava. Uh, you know? And, and the reality is having a pet like that isn't really practical. I don't know where you get a non-flammable pet bed from. A pet bed from. Pet bed? Oh god, that sounds terrible. Um... <laughs> yeah. So like I think... And I think that's an issue with many Pokemon is like... Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, it'd be fun to have one as a pet, but also, like, they could murder you, right? <laughs> like, I go to sleep and my, my pet slug lava monster comes in, you know, to into the house to get out of the, the rain or the poor weather or whatever and burns down my house. Seems uh, not ideal. Um, We will take these socks. I, I never pick up socks and then I end up wanting them at some point in the future. Like you like, oh Pikachu, you're so great. And then you get electrocuted and it's like, oh, how'd how'd Phil die? Oh well, you know, he, he got a Pikachu for Christmas. Oh, another Pikachu related murder, you know, like just is what it is. So I don't I don't have a great answer for this. Um I'm definitely an older generation Pokemon guy. I grew up um in the era of red and blue. And then um, when I was in like middle school, high school, I played Crystal. Crystal was my favorite Pokemon game. I know they remade it. I never played the, the remake, I don't think. Not that I can remember. It's weird that this pickled fish in a closed jar. Are you not a closed jar? Are you open? Is that why? Preserves contents from rot until opened, assuming it was sterile before sealing. I'm guessing that's actually open and it's not uh, a closed pickled thing um yeah so like i like the older generations i played ruby and sapphire i think that also came out when i was in high school uh or i had just graduated maybe i don't really remember and uh 
So I'm not super familiar with the newer ones. I think nowadays, right, they're like exclusively on the Switch or whatever. Like Sword and Shield, I think, came out not that long ago. Or was it Moon? I can't even remember what the modern ones are. But like anything with the newer generations, I don't know. Like Ruby and Sapphire are the last ones that I can really remember. So my preferences in Pokemon are like old Pokemon, you know. Um, one of my other favorites is like Ponyta, Rapidash, which is like same problem really. It's just an animal that's on fire, which isn't really practical. Like, you know, how do I, do I call the horse doctor to come out and have a look at my horse that's on fire? Like, that just seems like a strange, ugh, I don't know. And then, like, you know, you would think, like, oh, well, like, the cool legendary ones. But most of them are terrifying, you know? Like, the same issue with Mew. You're not going to have a Mew, like, yes, okay, is Mew too powerful? Sure. Could you get it to, like, brainwash someone into giving you, like, a free cheeseburger at the drive-thru or something? Sure. But the moment it turns on you, <laughs> you're in a lot of trouble. You know, the moment that uh, it decides it doesn't want to be a pet anymore, all of a sudden you have a psychic cat monster, you know, destroying you. Uh, oh, but I've been doing taxes lately. I bet Mewtwo could, uh, I bet Mewtwo could file my taxes for me. Seems like a smart, smart dude and or female. I have no idea what gender the... Uh, the uh, traditional Mewtwo was uh, in because uh, I remember the movies and I think they had a dude voice, but I also think they were non-gendered, so I don't actually I don't know. Anyway, this is the electronic shop. Um, there may be some shocker stuff in here. Probably not though. We would have seen some breaking out the windows as we were shooting and things. Um, so we probably would have seen them by now. Another zapper zombie. They seem more common than I remember. Or maybe they're a very low tier evolution and we're just now starting to see them and that's why they're cropping up so much. Uh, regardless of whether there's stuff in here or not, we're going to go in here because there's a lot of goodies in an electronic shop. We do still want to make an arc welder in the future, which is going to require some electronics components. Uh, we also need the books for it, which I don't think are electronic books. There will be electronic books here, but I don't think they're the ones that contain the welder. I think those are mechanics books specifically we will take that medium battery however weird that there are personal massagers in a electronic shop seems a little peculiar what other pokemon have like practical value like my brain goes to the muscular ones right like for for lifting heavy objects and helping me you know, hey, I forgot my jack. Can you lift my car really quick so I can change the tire? That sort of thing. Um, psychic Pokemon, like I said, we've already kind of talked about that. Soldering iron's always nice to have, and we will take the medium battery from the laptop as well. A lot of batteries, looks like. Uh, we are looking mostly for solder and copper wire. Those are the two things we're going to be able to find here that would be difficult to find elsewhere. Grab this vacuum sealer. We don't have space. Let's go back and drop off some of our stuff. Actually, we should pick up anything else we can pick up here. Just to fill out our inventory a little bit. And grab what we can. I have no idea what a magnifying glass is used for in the game, but we'll take that as well. Don't really need a solar cell. We'll take that MP3 player, I guess. And I think that's enough for now. We'll head back and then we will come back and grab some more of this stuff later. We're very full up volume wise. Yeah, let's head back. Um, fire Pokemon don't really have a huge practical use. You know, like how often in real life do you need to start a fire? Really not very common. Obviously would be cool for like camping out, you know, having a... Uh, Having your own little heater and, and fire starting, you know, creature hanging around. I don't know why I like, is it Slugma, I think is the name of that creature. I don't know why I even like that Pokemon. I don't even think I used it on my team. Well, okay, well, who was, who was my team growing up? <sighs> you know, because you would think like those are the ones I have an emotional attachment to. I don't, I don't really have a connection to most Pokemon. I'm not as into it as a lot of people were. When I was that, or now, or back when I was interested, I just wasn't really invested the way some other people were. I remember seeing the movie in theaters, 
the first uh, Pokemon movie, I believe. It was uh, the Mew and Mewtwo one. And I think that's the only Pokemon movie I ever saw. I had a friend who liked... I think there was one about the one legendary dog. That was uh, that was in Crystal. It was like the one... I want to say Suicune or Suicune. I have no idea. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, I had a psychic Pokemon. Always like Kadabra was one I always had. I'm a big fan of the... Of the Kadabra, uh, the Abra line of, of Pokemon. is uh, I don't know why I like them so much. Abra is basically useless. It just sort of chills and then teleports away. But I always liked that line of Pokemon. I think I had a, like a Lugia, I think is how you say that. It was was uh, the flying silver Pokemon. That was one I always had. Lapras, I think. I, I played a lot with Lapras. I don't know, man. This is just going to be an episode of me naming every Pokemon that I know, by the way. I don't know if you picked up on that. Tech review book is fine. We also got a big disposable battery. That would be nice for our welder. When we finally get a welder. Screwdriver, soldering iron. I always take soldering irons as backups. Uh, just because they are so valuable to have. Did not need that personal massager, but we'll take it because I already pushed the button. Uh, don't need the camera. I guess we should probably take the batteries. It's just tedious to take all the batteries out when uh, I don't necessarily need them. Light batteries are so easy to come by that I, I rarely prioritize picking them up anymore. We will take that heavy battery. It's one of those things you don't really need most of the time. But I'm not going to say no to it. You can go a long time without ever needing a, a heavy battery. Like, you know... Ever. I can't even think of anything that requires a heavy battery, so that's not a huge concern. Hot plate, same thing. We will take... Actually, we'll take the whole hot plate because I do believe that's a component for the RV kitchen thing unit. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. I also think we could make them by the time we get to that point, but, you know, we'll take it. Reading light is interesting. I think we will take that. No, stop. Um, because we, we have lanterns, but once we get things chargeable, I mean, by the time we put in a recharger, we'll already have the ability to start a light in our, our vehicle. We'll take it. I don't, I don't think we'll need it, but we'll take it. Why not? It's not something you see every day. I had a little reading light for a while and then I dropped it and now it does not work because that is how electronics work. If you drop an electronic... Shockingly, they stop working. Electric Forge is interesting as well. I see that does use a heavy battery. I didn't know that. Um, do, 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 do. Portable electric metalworking forge powered by batteries. Combined with the right tools, you could use this for metalworking. It's interesting. We You do need one of these to make a vehicle forging. I forget what it's even called. The, the vehicle forge. Usually I end up crafting one when I need to put it in my vehicle. So we're going to take it just to have it for that reason. I don't know how it works as a forge as an item. I guess I just put a battery in it and it counts as a forge. But I would still need all the forging tools and stuff. Either way, this is a valuable item. That's interesting. We might have just skipped a step where I don't need to make a bunch of charcoal. If we can put a battery charger in our vehicle, we will now have two heavy batteries we could work with. Oh, yeah, you're going to be huge, huh? I wonder how, what kind of volume it has. Uh, seven liters. So it's a pretty small forge. Obviously still a bit difficult to carry without open hands. We're going to take this back to our base immediately. We will leave our spear. We're not really too worried about that. We have mostly cleared the area, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. So we'll head back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Pokemon you pick. I like Dratini. I don't know why. I think is the name of the, like the middle tier. No, which one do I like? It's 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 the blue one. That's real skinny. I can't think of which uh, evolution that is. Dragonair, maybe. I can't remember. I don't know. Pokemon is like, it's nostalgic. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't have the attachment to it the way some people do. 
Like there are people who are listening to this right now who love Pokemon way more than I do. It's not that it's bad. It's just, I don't know. I've gotten a little older. I remember I started, um, so I worked in a factory like six years ago. And when I got there, there was a guy, he was a little older than me. He probably was about 30. I'd have been like 20, 24, probably 25. And, uh, or I guess I would have been 25 or 26. And I got to work and he was always on his Game Boy. And I was like, oh, you know, hey, what are you, what are you playing? Um, cause I, like I, I talked to him and his girlfriend to pass time at work or fiance or whatever they were. And uh, he was like, oh, I'm playing Pokemon. And I was like, oh, you know, I, I oh, I didn't drop the Forge. Great. Because I'm dumb. Let's go back. We're going to drop <laughs> drop the Forge at base. Was the whole point we went back in the first place. Use the uh, auto walk. See how that fares. See if we get murdered. Hey. Okay. Drop the Forge this time. And we're not going to auto walk back just because it's so dangerous. We will walk up to here. Oh, no, 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 no. See, uh, the pathing <laughs> would have taken us right through the middle of town where there could still be zombies, particularly around here. There are zombies. So, nope, not going to use auto walk. A little dangerous, a little tricky. And uh, he was super into Pokemon. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I played when I was young and blah, blah, blah. I like, you know, Pokemon. I was a crystal. I played Pokemon crystal, blah, blah, blah. And he was, like, super into it. He was one of these people who, like, min-max is super hard and, like, like oh, I want to go to competitions. And I was like, like, no judgment. Not really. But, like, I just was surprised that, like, a 30-something with kids was uh, super into Pokemon. And also, I don't min-max. It really bothers me. Like, so you all watch me play Cataclysm. There are a lot of players who min-max Cataclysm. They only do, oh, I only want to eat the most efficient food. And then they'll eat like a sti stick of butter because they want the calories. And it's like, dude, you're, you're min-maxing calories instead of playing the game like a human being, right? And I think that that's okay. You know, I'm not going to tell someone how to play the game, but it just doesn't make sense to me to invest all this energy in min-maxing when you're at some point, doesn't that take away from the fun of the game? Like the game is about exploration and fighting zombies and you don't have to do it perfectly. You can just play the game, you know? Um, so whenever I meet people who min-max, it always is a bit perplexing. So I stopped here because this is an inflatable ghost, which is an item I've never seen before. It's a battery powered inflatable ghost from the Halloween before the end. Might be fun to display it somewhere. I do vaguely remember this. Someone added um, Halloween decorations and I believe Christmas decorations, if I'm remembering right. But obviously, at least the Halloween decorations. It's an inflatable ghost. It has a medium battery in it. I don't think it functions as a decoy or anything like that. I think it's just a, uh, it's just a display thing. <laughs> I mean, we have to deploy it, right? We have to see what it looks like. Inflatable ghost. Oh, it's treated as a spell. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So do I just hit enter? I do. Holy crap, look at this thing. That's uh, awesome. It looks exactly not what I expected it to look like. That's pretty sweet, though. And it does function as a creature, so it would be a decoy, probably. Uh, I bet the zombies would attack this. Can I take it down? I can't. Uh-huh. What about... Oh, and it fully removed it from my inventory. Oh, it's a consumable. Um, attack? You may be attacked, yes. It disappeared. Okay. So it's a consumable item. Okay, so here's here's what's good and bad about that. One, it looks sweet, okay? The ghost looks great. Um, two, it's cool to have decorations in the game. There are always going to be people who want to find those kind of collectible items and, and display them at their base. So it's a really cool idea. What I don't like is that it required a battery to do that. Oh, it did not consume the item. Well, then I have no complaints. We will take that. I forgot I activated it from the ground. Great, then that's just a neat little item. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. I, I know there are other decorations as well. I don't know exactly what they are. I believe there was a pumpkin thing as well. 
Um, we covered that in our experimental cataclysm series. If you want to go back and sift through that, although I'm sure that wouldn't be fun. So that's a pretty cool little item. Um, I'm going to take it. I think I, I just want the battery really, but we're going to take it because why wouldn't we take it? I also wonder what the duration is on the spell. Is there a way to see that activate? Oh, we don't have enough charges. Okay. Well in the future, we'll have a look at that. See if we can crack into this back room. We can, it's open. Great. Ooh, encrypted memory cards. I don't think they do anything. I'll take them, I guess. Toaster, no. Microwave, no. Scrap metal. Coffee maker, yes. We will definitely take both of these full batteries. Oh, you know what? And we'll take the full dehydrator, although it might be too big for us to put in our backpack. It is. I don't want to walk home again just for a dehydrator. We're just going to take this stuff out of them, the batteries out of them. Again, this is an example of where people who min-max would probably have a problem with me. Taking the food dehydrator is something people do. They, they dehydrate a lot of food. I don't see a lot of value in that. Personally, there's a time investment. It's just not really worth the effort of going through that, especially when food is so plentiful. If I had a farm, it would be more valuable. But as it stands, I don't think we really need those things. Can't pry the crate open. We will mark the electronic shop. Um, as having electronics so that when we go on the hunt for electronics later we can come back disassemble the microwave and the dehydrators and all that stuff so we'll just put misc uh, electronics always in caps for some reason okay and let's clear can I clear that um that pathing path how do I clear that W whatever okay check this last little room here purse TV again is something we can take apart Another electric forge. Um, I'm going to take your battery. So we now have three heavy batteries for the forge. So I think we're in a good position there. Man, we're just, this is just battery central. Usually I really struggle to find medium batteries, which makes it hard to do a lot of welding in the mid game because I don't have the, the batteries. So I'm constantly cycling out batteries to charge them. But we actually came away with a ton of medium batteries, which is really nice. Let's auto walk home. Yes, that seems fine. Go ahead and stop, that's okay. We'll walk the rest of the way. So clearing that electronic sh shop was definitely in our best interest. I'm really glad to have a lot of this stuff. Solder also cannot be overstated how annoying it is when you don't have solder. Um, people have told me you can take apart, I believe, alternators for solder, but I did not know that until recently. So I still have fond, fond memories of really struggling to find solder in the game. So. That was nice. We found quite a bit of stuff. For now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave me a comment about your favorite Pokemon, and I will be back in the near future with more Cat Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, see you next time.